I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a dumbbell hip workout. It's going to be low impact, so it's going to protect your joints. By using the dumbbells, we get your heart rate up into a fat burning zone. Bonus, because we are using dumbbells, a lot of these moves are strength related. You're going to build and tone lean muscle. So we're going to burn fat and tone lean muscle. If that's a type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Ready? Let's warm up. Let's bring the knees up in front. Pull the abs tight. Start to warm up that core. Good, heels up and back. Let's add some arms, forward and back. I'm gonna go for 40 second rounds. Reach out in front. If you're just beginning, you can stop 10 seconds before the end of the round. That'll give you a little longer break. See how you do, and before you know it, you're gonna be doing all 40 seconds. Let's bring arms out and in. I'm using light weights, five pounds for me, but whatever light means to you. Or if you're just starting out, you can do this workout without weights. The movement alone is gonna get that heart rate up. So grab your dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use water bottles. Uh, just to hold in the hand, give a little bit of resistance. We're gonna cross punch. Ready? Right arm. Punch, bring it over in, other side. So we do wanna move, because this is cardio. Shoulders are down, neck is relaxed. Strength on the upper body, squeeze in the glute as you twist. You're going to feel the heart rate come up. And this weight is going to get heavy, even though it's light. If you ever need to put the weight down, if you feel like you need to put it down, put it down. Keep going and pick it up for the next round. And rest on that one. All right. On to uppercut. So uppercut, your arm is going to stay bent, okay? I'm going to go wide, toes forward, side lunge one way, other way with the uppercut. We'll go with your right arm first, okay? Ready? Here we go. You don't have to go too fast. Too fast. I want you to move, but really push that weight up right there. Weight is in your heels, lower body, sitting back, out of the toes. Back is flat. And I bet you start to breathe hard, a little bit harder than when we started out because as we get into this, heart rate's gonna be going up and down. High intensity interval. Low impact though. And rest, okay. Changing this upper body a little bit but still using the weight, we've got a curl bicep curl. When you curl, I'm going to curl the leg up and back too. So like that. So a hamstring curl in the back and bicep curl up top. Right leg first. Here we go. Curl. Abs are tight here. Relax your shoulders. Arms are in. Don't let the arms flail out like that, okay? Are the muscles working? I do. Come on. We're halfway through this 40 second round here. Come on, it's a tough one. Hold those abs tight, working that core. And you have upper and lower body going like this at the same time. Good. Whew, all right, let's rest the arms. So speaking of core, balance. It's all about your core. You're gonna take a right leg back, curtsy. You're gonna come up with a kick, okay? This one's tough, tougher than it looks. Show you some modifications. So if you can, curtsy back, all the way up, kick, bring that toe back, or come up, tap the toe, kick, tap the toe, go back. If you're just starting out, you're gonna have the curtsy and the kick separate. You'll still get that balance work, and see, even if you've done this for a while, sometimes you have to put that foot down. Right there, see? 
Try and get as many all the way through and kick. Keep it more advanced. You're beginning, you're here. Tap, kick, tap, just like that. Woo. See those balance moves? <laughs> those are your stabilizers in your core. Rest, good. All right, we've got to do it on the other side. That leg you were standing on, I bet you feel that. Deep breath. Your muscles want oxygen. That's the fuel they want, so deep, deep breaths. Get that oxygen going. Here we go, other side. Down, balance, kick. Whoops, there we go. Tap that foot down if you need to, don't fall, okay? left-handed. I'm on a mirror of you, so I'm standing on my left foot. I have better balance on this side. You might notice that. One side's a little easier than the other. And rest. Nice job. Okay. Shaking out the legs. Upper body. Palms are facing each other. Punch, 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 punch. We're going to squat down and come up. Take the squat out if you need to protect those knees, okay? Here we go. One, Two, three, four, up. You're not squatting, you're right here. You are squatting, come with me. One, two. One, two. Weight in your heels, sit back. Backs are tight. Going, come on. And rest. Good job. Okay, going into one weight. And really work those lower abs, pulling the tummy tight. I'm going to push the weight out. You're going to round the back, crunch out, crunch out. Just pull that weight, that weight into your waist. Here we go. Round back, straight back. Pull those abs tight, right there. Pull them tight. Making them work. You feel hear me breathing? Woo! I'm not moving super fast. But all these muscles going, add the weight, up goes the heart rate into a fat burning zone. And rest. Shake out the arms because we've got to go on the other side. If the weight is too much at this point, you can put your weight down. Do this without weight. So have the hands out, pull them in. Otherwise, with me, weight out. I'm going to round the back. Pull. Pull. Lots of abs in these exercises. So we're using upper and lower body at the same time. That core must engage. And then we do these ab focus moves like this. Just more ab work. Almost there. Come on. Five seconds. Good. Whew. All right. Back to two weights. Deep breath. We're gonna hold the weight, elbows in, we're gonna rotate, twist, twist. All right, I want you to really move on this one. Here we go, twist it. Now, depending on how you feel, feeling strong, bring the weight up here, okay? The more advanced, bring it here. Otherwise, right in at the waist, lower body remains the same. Whichever you choose for upper body. Do you like what I'm doing? Switch back and forth. Try this. Almost there. Come on. Good. All right. Halfway through the circuit. Nice. Okay. Putting the weight down. We've got a low jack. So it's a jumping jack. 
So you're not going to jump. So you're going to use feet alternating out. As the foot goes out, weight goes up. Ready? Here we go. Modification. If you struggle over your head like this, you have shoulder problems, you might. You can take it out. To rest those shoulders. Okay, we're resting them for 15 seconds because this next move does not involve your shoulders. Run deadlift, heels, weights in the heels, slight bend in your knees, flat back down. As you come up, pull the weight. Lead with your shoulder, with your elbows. There, ready? So it's down, pull, down, pull. Think about weight in the heels. Drive the hips forward at the top, right there. Elbows lead. So I see this a lot. Rotating the wrists like that. Pull up. See the difference? Keeping my wrist hanging neutral. Abs are tight. And rest. Okay. Pulling the weight back in. Now stay on one side, all right? We're gonna cross, punch, come in from here, do that knee crunch, okay? Now stay with the right arm punching. Come with me, ready? Here we go. Cross, punch, crunch, cross, crunch, abs and glutes, so it's glute, ab. Squeeze that glute right here, squeeze. Crunch, pull that belly button to the spine right there. Pull it, pull it in. Sometimes when we're focusing on our abs, we hold our breath. Breathe, okay? You're holding your breath. I want you to focus on breathing while you work these abs, okay? Pretty common. I do it. Kind of noticed myself doing it a little bit there, which reminded me to tell you. All right, you ready to go with your left arm? Take a deep breath. Here we go. Punch it out. Punch, crunch. Into your form. Squeeze the glute, round the back. Abs in. Pull that belly button in. Right there. Come on, we have about 10 seconds. Finish this one. Balance out the sides. Whew. Breathe, rest. All right. Go into a squat. You're going to go deep or a little bend, depending on how the knees are, okay? Squat and stand. Front raise and down. If you want to put them together, come with me. Ready? So it's down, up. Don't swing the weight though. The weight, control it down, lift it up. If you're not doing the bend, you can do a little bend and lift. If you're not doing the squat, I should say. Just a little bend in those knees, activate the muscles. Get as deep in the squat as you can, if you can. Try not to drop the weight, try not to swing it back. To myself, throw to control that weight down. There we go. And rest. Okay. Going to one weight. We'll take this weight and just hold it at your chest. Let's step out to your right. Okay, we're going out in a side lunge. Come up, same knee, twist over it. Ready? Here we go. Over. Come up, twist. In the twist, think about shoulder towards the knee. Rotate from the upper body and the lower body there. I said there were lots of abs, I meant it. Okay, 
you feeling? Feeling good. Almost there. Let's finish this one. Come on, finish the crunch. Nice job. All right, shake out those arms. Head to the other side. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Good. Got three exercises left, okay, in this circuit. Here we go. Take it over. Come in, twist. position with the, the weight for the moment. We're gonna go down if you can, two steps. One, two up on your toes, push, push. Stay up in the walk if you need to, here we go. One, two, push it up. Once, again. One, two, push it up. up on your toes, just to work those calf muscles. It's a tough one. Get your balance. Again, balance work. Down up on these toes. Hold your abs tight. It's going to help control the move. There it is. Nice. Rest, okay? Deep breath. You got one more. I'm going to step to your right. It's a skater, I want you to bring your left leg way back. Way back, big arms. Big rotation of those arms. Ready, here we go. You're almost done, come on. 20 minutes. Doesn't seem like a long time. But keep moving, like we have, with weight. Super effective. Great job. We are done with that nice, short, hit workout. I want to do a little bit of stretching. Let's lean to one side, catch your breath. Hope you feel good. Other side. Come on up. Let's step to one side, stretch out those inner thighs. Deep breath. Up in the middle, let's go to the other side. Good. Bring the feet in, let's put the heel down. You're going to stretch that calf we just worked. It doesn't take much to wake those up. Switch to the other side. Back of the upper leg, hamstring. And switch legs. And come on up, spin one arm across, drop your arm. Just hang on to it, stretching across the back of your shoulder. Hopefully your breath is coming back to normal, coming into a Normal heart rate range is called your heart rate recovery. And the more conditioned you get, the quicker that will happen. Round and lift. Go ahead and look up. Really round across the chest. And let's come on in and roll out your shoulders. And the other direction. Great job. I hope you like that workout. Take a deep breath, 
exhale, and I will see you next time.